It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. As of lately on Twitter, I noticed that there's like a lot of different people going against like these TikTok videos that these nurses are producing on like that service. And honestly, I'm not surprised this whole entire stuff is happening. Because apparently, like, a lot of people just want to get clicks and outrage nowadays, and so I figure why not talk about the TikTok videos that people have so much problems about. Now, let's look at this video because, honestly, I just thought it was just really funny. This is the story of COVID-19, a horrid bug, the nasty queen. You don't want to get it, you have to be aware, so wash your hands with extra care. Two meters away from other folk, it lives in your lungs, so do not smoke. They say the hospital is a front line. I say, it's not. Hold my wine. Stay at home. Close your door. A shop, a walk, and nothing more. If you do this, and remember our rhyme, you'll be back with your family. And no I honestly thought that whole entire video was just, you know, really funny. But of course, the potty pooper across, like, the comments, of course, write something that, of course, you know, was fussing about the video. Ahead of the 8 p.m. clap for the NHS, here's an example of stress, overwork, H and as workers doing a critical rap routine. Luckily, they have PPE. Honestly, I do not understand this whole entire argument. Like, just because there are some people who are nurses doing TikTok videos doesn't mean that the hospitals are not packed or not stressed out to capacity. And so, basically the main reason, of course, why these people are just making these TikTok videos is because it's actually their free time. And guess what? People can do whatever they want during their free time. We're living in a pandemic where people are dying every single day. Like, if you were like a doctor or like a nurse and you get to see death every single day, every single hour, every single second, you too won't want to, you know, do something fun to, you know, cope with the reality that you're dealing with. This one is my personal favorite because I thought it was just super funny, Lil. So let's play it right now. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> oh my god. But of course, here's like uh, Tim Pool complaining about this. Is this supposed to be nurses dancing while carrying a dead body? What the F is wrong with these people? Oh my god, I just have a brain aneurysm just reading that whole entire commentary. No Tim, no Tim, that is not a dead freaking body that the doctors and also the nurses were also carrying. You know those political comic books where Basically, they have the text out loud to see you, like, you know, the political opponent or, like, whatever kind of stuff, right? Basically, it's, like, the live-action equivalent of that. Essentially, if it was a dead body, it will say, like, you know, rest in peace, R.I.P., right? However, it does not say R.I.P. It says COVID-19. And so, essentially, what they're doing right now, they're carrying the corpse of the virus and basically saying that they defeated the virus like I'm not like you know that smart but come on guys like that's like a visual gag it's obviously true that of course they're carrying the body of the virus and not a dead person like this is not you know super hard to figure it out oh my god of course we have freaking Kansas Owens taking the whole entire commentary because after all, you know, Kansas Owens is totally an innocent person, did not dox people on a website, and did this kind of crazy stuff online. Like, Kansas Owens is like completely innocent, so let's check her out. If you're wondering what this is, it's a photo of doctors and nurses 
imitating like Jesus' last supper because apparently their sacrifices during coronavirus are comparable. This is as nauseating as his sacrilegious. I couldn't be more done with the coronavirus narrative. You do realize that of course there have been plenty and plenty and plenty of parodies, you know, making fun of Jesus Last Supper. Like this is like the first time someone actually done like a parody of the Last Supper. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna dare to say this, and I don't care if I lose subscribers, I'm gonna say it anyway. Like, I've seen more evidence of these workers, these nurses, these doctors, whatever. I've seen more evidence of them performing miracles in real life by saving people's lives by providing medicine than some guy in the desert just walking on water and freaking turning, like, you know, step water into wine. It's like, no. I haven't seen any evidence of those kind of miracles. So, to me, the doctors, the nurses are actually the real miracle workers and not some sort of guy that's describing a holy book. I'm sorry. Okay, where the hell is my fedora? I know I have a fedora somewhere in this house. Um, anyway, yeah, my invisible fedora is like on my head right now. And honestly, I don't give two craps about that. All right, here's another one I found on Twitter. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I'm just dying from here. It's like, holy crap. Of course, someone again got really upset about that whole entire video. We were told that we were really plunged ourselves into a great depression because hospitals are being overwhelmed. Meanwhile, TikTok is full of videos of hospital staff performing choreographed dance routines. What a joke. This whole thing frustrating, irritating, excuse me. It's so funny to me, like so many people that I talked about in this video right now are taking offense to these TikTok videos from nurses. Like, a lot of these personalities that I just called out right now, they basically complain about how the social justice warriors take offense to everything and to a extent, that is true, like, they are offended by every single thing that they, you know, a person does. However, how are these people any different than the people that they complain about? Like, you guys are taking offense over nurses using their free time, you know, to cope during this whole entire crisis and want to make, you know, fun videos. Like, how are you guys not taking offense at these sort of silly TikTok videos? Like... You know, it's like during the whole entire procedure of World War II, right? Of course, people were dying, and of course, like, there were comedians like, you know, Charlie Chaplin, who made entire movies like The Great Dictator, you know, and made fun of, of course, like, Hitler, even though these people were dying too. Like, throughout the whole entire, you know, dark parts of, you know, humanity, like, people always made these sort of dark jokes or images or whatever to cope with the reality that they're living in. This, of course, is like called dark humor. Like, dark humor, of course, does not appeal to everybody. However, just because you do not like these TikTok videos from these nurses does not mean you do not have the right to express themselves or to cope or whatever. Like, basically, you guys are no different than the people that you complain about. So please, if you don't want to see those TikTok videos, then don't watch those TikTok videos. It's just simple. Anyway, um, I'm just done with this video. I'm just kind of saddened by people complaining about TikTok videos. But what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below, and I'll see you all next time. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.